Hey guys, we're going to see who's next. Oh, Pisces already won it. Okay. Oops, Aries, you're up. All right, Aries. So sorry for the delay. I know I've been gone for a while. I really thought I would be able to swing it, but I had a lot of work that I had to finish up before I went on vacation for the holidays, and then the holidays rolled around, and I, I didn't get to anything then, so my apologies, but here I am, so let's get started. I'm going to do a spread that covers um, quite a few areas of your life, so We'll look into quite a few things here. Let's see what's going on. Oh, sorry, let me light this uh, candle. Okay. Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. What do they need to know for 2024? Seven of Wands. Um, I feel like you guys, with regards to like your physical body, uh, your mind, you know, that kind of thing. You've been pushing yourself really hard. I don't know if you're like overworking yourself or maybe you're not getting enough sleep, but I think that's about to end this year. I don't see you pushing yourself as hard as you did last year, which is a good idea because you would have, if you didn't already burn yourself out, um, I think you're going to be easier on yourself. Uh, at least starting off the year. With regards to romance, I don't know. I feel like you might be, for those of you who are dating, you might be a little bit frustrated with the caliber of people that you're meeting um, or lack thereof <laughs> um, or if you're in a relationship also like just kind of frustration with your partner just overall frustration is what I'm picking up on but we'll see when I clarify what this means Clumps of, clumps of cards are coming out. Um, with your, regards to your career, if you're wanting to leave your current place of employment, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> Sorry to say. Um, so again, we'll look further into it, but off the bat, I don't see that happening. I see some a bit of stress with regards to your social circle. We'll see what that's about. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles.
trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Yeah. Happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. And blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Yeah, so... Um, Again, I feel like you're listening to your body more. Um, your body has been giving you signs that you need to take, you know, give it a rest, uh, sleep, eat, you know, all, all things. <laughs> um, there, okay, we have blame here. So I don't know if you had been making like, excuses for uh, why do I want to say like abusing yourself abusing your body abusing meaning overworking overdoing things okay um, not sleeping not eating properly not and there's always a reason for it oh but you know there's overtime at work oh but there's um, whatever tax season, this season, that season, there, there's something, there's always something. Um, but at the end of the day, it comes down to you. It's your body, it's your, like, you have to stand up. You've been standing up for everybody else, standing up for everything else but yourself. So now you have to trust it, that, you know, the, the signs that your body is giving you um, and prioritize your own happiness, okay? Let's see what the cards say. Yeah, see, we have the Queen of Wands reverse. So you could be feeling very depleted. Look, and we have the Seven of Wands upright. So there's something that you had been, again, overdoing, um, depleting your energy, working yourself too hard, and now you are seeing the effects of that. <clears throat> You're coming to that realization, or you have come to that realization. Um, this could have very well have affected your relationships as well. Uh, could have been with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I feel like emotionally this has affected you. Like you've repressed a lot of emotions. You feel a lot of things, but you don't express them. So this causes also a lot of uh, disease in the body, dis-ease. Um, so this is kind of layered, layered, a layered effect. So this is emotional, this is physical, the, this has a lot of um, components to it. So a lot to think about here, Aries. If this is resonating with you, there looks like there needs to be a change made here. Um, before any trouble begins, okay? Oh, I don't want to do that. I don't know why I put those away. All right. Okay. All right, let's move on to romance. Love and romance. We have the Seven of Pentacles reverse. Now, it doesn't have to be um, frustration, although that's kind of what I was picking up. But this can be, if you have been waiting, for those of you who have been waiting for a romantic opportunity, it may just mean that it's here. So let's see. All right, we have abundance. 
I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Imagination, I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. And denial, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Let's see what this is about. Ten of Wands reverse. Two of Wands reverse. Six of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I, I am seeing this more so as um, frustration. And I'm seeing a lot of you taking a different route. Some of you just deciding to possibly be single. <laughs> um, yeah, just moving on single. Focusing more on career. Um you know, that that aspect of things. Maybe last year there was more of a focus on relationships and looking for a partner, uh, but that ended up being really, you know, being very focused on that ended up being more of a, of a burden to you and it ended up being very overwhelming. Um, maybe you went out with a lot of people and it was just... Um, you went into it with this very positive mindset and ended up very disappointed and so now you just want to put that aside completely and focus on yourself and you know maybe that's the best way to do it and when you least expect it is when you will find uh, what you're looking for when you're not looking <laughs> um, so yeah I, I see you moving on from that search from you know planting those seeds of of love um, those seeds will grow <laughs> before you know it. But yeah, there's fear that you, I feel like a lot of you are fearing that you're going to end up alone. I, uh, <clears throat> I don't think that the fear is going to make or break the situation. So... You know, but there, there's two tens here, so there's there's some kind of ending, or you went through an ending. So some of you may have just been coming out of a breakup, and maybe you do need, <clears throat> you know, some time alone. So if you had just been coming out of a breakup, perhaps that's exactly what you needed was time alone, um, and maybe that's what you're seeing. Some of you are actually coming into financial abundance or you will come into financial abundance because you're focusing on that or you're focusing on your career and you're going to see um, results on that. So, yeah, you're changing direction. You're changing focus. Okay. Finance and career, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. We have change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Perseverance, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So some of you are desiring change, but it, it hasn't happened, or I feel like maybe this will be delayed perhaps and you just need to keep trying it may take some time it's not as easy perhaps as before indecision I use my intuition in all aspects of life you 
yeah, there, there, there's, there's, um, yeah, there's a delay for whatever reason. There's a delay in a new beginning. Look, at the bottom we have the Ten of Pentacles. The reason is to your benefit. So if you find that something is not working in your favor, like you're wanting to leave a job or you're wanting some sort of change, but you're seeing that there's resistance or uh, something is taking longer than you want it to, just know that it's for a reason. There's something that's waiting for you. The delay is for a reason. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Seven of Cups reverse. Okay, so there's something that is here that is reserved for you. Um, but it's going to come in due time. I don't think it's going to come when you expect it to come or when you're necessarily looking for it. But it is here. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Page of Pentacles there in reverse. We have the Queen of Pentacles reverse and the Seven of Cups in reverse. So there are going to be these opportunities here for you. Um, for whatever reason, there's there's some sort of delay. So I say delay, but it's it'll be delayed in your mind. It won't be when when you think it should be there. But... The change is coming. There's some type of change coming toward you um, that will be very beneficial uh, for you when it comes to your finances. So just know that change is coming, maybe not according to your timeline, but it is on the horizon. Okay, with regards to your social circle of friends, we have the Nine of Swords. Hmm, interesting. We have grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Success. I know that there is no greater goal than love. Freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Okay. At the bottom we have forgiveness. Let's see. Hmm. Six of wands. Okay. I have a feeling there's some jealous people around you. Yeah, we have the Ten of Swords. Mm. Three of Pentacles. Empress, the Three of Wands, Reverse. I don't, I don't know. Uh, let me do one more. Justice. <sighs> Three of Swords. Ah. Okay. So I feel like you're going to be doing really well uh, when it comes. I mean, we kind of saw that. You're going to be doing really well when it comes to your career. You're going to have money coming in. Um, accolades. You know, we see here the Six of Wands. Um, I feel like when it comes to your career, your work, things like that, you get... You get attention when it comes to those areas. Uh, also, you may be very attractive. Whatever the case is, you're an abundant person, a magnetic person. There's somebody around you, friend group, social group, could be a co-worker. Um, We have Libra here very prominently, so it can very well be a Libra because for whatever reason, Libra is coming up here, like I said, very prominently. Um, so it can be, but not necessarily be a Libra. Um, but somebody may betray you or can betray you or is feeling very jealous of your success. 
uh, may actually be obsessed with you, obsessed with your success, can't stop thinking about it, can't stop comparing themselves to you, comparing their success to you. And that's, that is really dangerous. Um, you know, friendships can start off all well and good, but once somebody starts comparing themselves to you and feeling envy, feeling jealousy, mm, that's dangerous because that can that can really trigger some. And I'm not saying obviously not everybody, but get yourself somebody with some mental illness, and that can start off and trigger some some shit. <laughs> So just be careful, you know, use your discernment and distance yourself from whoever you feel you get a, even a little bit of feeling like mm, they, they give you some side eye or they give you test people, you know, tell them something good that happened to you and, and just look at their face, look in their eyes and see what micro expressions they give you see what reactions they have to your good news and if you get any kind of sensation like they they're not a hundred percent happy for you distance yourself from that person because you don't want that around you believe me so that is what i'm getting there i would heed that warning all right Family, we have the Page of Swords reverse. Friendship. Interesting. Hmm. I say interesting because it ties back to this, which this is not so great. And then the Page of Swords Reverse is not so great either. Page of Swords Reverse for me is like negative news, something not so great. So we'll see. Peace. Okay. Let me read these. Friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Peace, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Look at that. I don't know if you could see it from far away, but envy. I am the same as everyone, but with different challenges. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. Gratitude at the bottom. I wonder if... I don't know. I was going to say, I wonder if this person used to be family and now is more of a platonic because they're intertwined somehow but somebody feels envy and jealousy toward you or perhaps it's a friend who feels envy or jealousy toward your family your family dynamic i don't know but i'm not liking it Page of Swords Reverse. Lovers Reverse. This could be somebody you broke up with. Like I said, this could have been somebody you were married to, was your family, and now could just be a friend or a platonic person who is now in your social circle. They're no longer family. but they envy you somehow. Maybe they're jealous. They have regrets though.
they're jealous they're jealous that you you're gonna find new love Yeah, somebody hasn't let you go. There's unfinished business. They feel like there's unfinished business. They haven't been able to uh, have closure in a relationship. They might be talking shit about you. Seven of Cups reverse. Yeah, like you may have found out or you may find out something about let me see. There's something shady here or there's something shady. Six of Pentacles River. some some kind of imbalance somebody's like mentally there's a mental imbalance here so i'm telling you somebody is like not right mentally what the hell let me do one more wheel of fortune There is an ending that someone cannot accept, and they are, like, mentally unstable. They're confused. Mm. They're full of uh, jealousy, envy. They're full of regrets. They can't accept the position that they now have in your life. They've been, like, demoted in your life. They don't have the same position, and they can't stand that. And they're jealous of anybody new coming into your life. I feel like they're obsessed. I'm telling you, I keep getting like a mental, some kind of mental instability. There's, there's obsession here. So again, be careful. All right. Final messages for Aries. Final messages for Aries for 2024. At the bottom we have villain. You can always rewrite the story. Confidence. It comes with time and practice. And we have storm. Every, every hurricane comes to an end. You might be in the middle of some kind of storm. That you're a little bit like unsure or shaky about. Hmm. Okay. Well, Aries, I hope this was helpful. I'll see you soon. Bye.